everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. I'm going to be sharing quite a few projects with you today, but the bulk of the video is actually going to be focused more on the technique than actually finishing up the cards. In today's video, I'm also going to be showcasing some of the new Simon Says Stamp release from the Happy and Joyful collection. This collection is absolutely beautiful. It has so many beautiful flower themed products and you'll notice those flowers throughout all of my projects. So today's technique is creating some really fun backgrounds using a jelly press and distress paints. A jelly press is a sponge like surface that allows you to put a medium on top of it and then transfer it onto your paper. I'm going to be using distress paints for this technique and I absolutely love how the distress paints work on top of the jelly press and then transfer onto the paper. Because distress paints are a little bit more fluid than a regular acrylic paint, they move really well on top of the jelly press and then also have the ability to beat up on the surface of the jelly press. So when you're smushing the paints across the jelly press, you're going to get some areas to beat up and that looks really cool when they transfer onto your paper. So you're seeing me put a bunch of different paints on top of this jelly press. I use saltwater taffy, carved pumpkin, picked raspberry, and salvaged patina. And I'm trying to blend some of them out, but then others colors, I'm leaving a little bit more of a spotted effect. And when I remove this white cardstock from the jelly press, you're gonna see how those spots transfer really well and create some really cool effects. Now just one application of paint will give you many transfers. So I'm gonna actually get three transfers out of this particular paint. So I'm going to transfer some paint onto this white cardstock from what was left over on the jelly press. And then I'm going to run a bit more paint from the leftover that is still on my brayer. And that's going to help me transfer some more color onto the paper. Again, because like I said, we're gonna get multiple transfers from this paint. I'm gonna grab another piece of cardstock, smear the paint around a little bit more, and then I'm going to go ahead and transfer that onto my white cardstock. So what's fun about this technique is that you get a lot of fun, unexpected patterns from one application of paint. So a little bit goes a long way. So I did these backgrounds here with just that one application and I ended up creating quite a few different backgrounds. I even played around with different colors other than just the colors that I used here. I also did a combination of prize ribbon, salvage patina, and picked raspberry too. That was a pretty color combination which you'll see a finished card of later on. So I have this background here that uses just a lot of orange and pink together. And after it dried, I added other areas of color with those distress paints to add some additional layers on top of this background. So what's fun is that once things dry and you don't want things to mix, you can go ahead and add more layers on top. So that's what I'm doing here. It's a lot of fun to play around and see what you can come up with. Really, honestly, you're never gonna be able to recreate the same background more than once because these paints move so fluidly across the jelly press and then transfer in different ways. So it's a lot of fun to just experiment and play around and create your own unique backgrounds. So let's talk about one of the cards that I made with these backgrounds. This one here uses one of the new foil plates from Simon Says Stamp and I used it to be the focal point on top of this very colorful background. So after making the background with my jelly press, I pulled in some Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain. This is the silver color, and I'm splattering this onto the background. While that dried, I pulled in the eucalyptus stem from the Simon Says Stamp Happy and Joyful collection. This is a hot foil plate, and it also has the coordinating die. So I'm going to hot foil this beautiful stem onto some Simon Says Stamp white glossy cardstock, and I'm going to use silver foil to transfer this. So I have this plate on top of my Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil Machine, but if you have a different hot foil machine, that will work too. I'm going to lay my foil pretty side down on top of that plate and along with the glossy cardstock. I did use a bit of tape to help hold everything in place so it didn't shift as I run this through my die cut machine. Depending on your type of hot foil system, your sandwich might be different. So just follow the instructions that your hot foil system recommends for using a plate like this. After foiling, you can see the beautiful impression we get. 
and I typically like to take a soft brush and just wipe off any stray pieces of foil that might be left behind. And so then what I did was I colored that foil stem with some Copic markers. I just used a couple of blue shades, very simple coloring. I popped that foil design right on top of that background and added a simple sentiment from one of the new Simon Says Stamp floral stamp sets. Very simple card, easy to make. Now let's try another technique. So I'm going to pull out one of the backgrounds I made using the prize ribbon, salvage patina, and picked raspberry color combinations. So we did that nice fun paint smushing with the jelly press. And I'm going to take the new Flower Frenzy background stamp and use clear embossing ink to stamp this pattern on top of our background. So this background is completely dry. The paint is totally dry at this point. And we're just going to ink up that stamp, stamp it right down on top of that background. And then once we've stamped it, we're ready to go ahead and add some embossing powder. So for this, I chose some white embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. I'll sprinkle this on top of our stamped background. And of course, the inked areas will pick up any of that powder. Once I have the background covered with powder, then I'll go ahead and heat set this. So I have this background laid on top of my Simon Says Stamp Positively Everything tool because it is a heat safe surface and I'm going to go ahead and set that powder so that way I have a really nice beautiful crisp embossing on top of that background. I did the same thing with one of the beautiful pink, orange, and teal color combinations. I made a lot of these backgrounds because I had of course leftover paint each time I did a new one and so I got many many pieces that I can use for other projects. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that flower frenzy on one of these as well. Again, I used white embossing powder to sprinkle over top of those stamped areas. And then I'll just use my heat tool to set that powder and create that really nice, beautiful background on top of our painted background. So this is a really colorful design. And of course, the white embossing looks absolutely stunning on top of that paint. So I ended up making a couple of cards with these. I have some baby sentiment strip from the Happy and Joyful collection. Cut one of those down into a sentiment strip and then I actually cut the strip apart into three sections so that I could stack them on top of each other. And I just added a little silver heart on top of this one. I also used one of those orangey colored backgrounds and I just absolutely love how the gold paired up with this. This was actually a resin heart sticker which I have linked below in the video description along with all of the other products that I used today to make all of these cards. So if you're interested in any of that information, be sure to check it out. So these cards were fun. I absolutely love how bold and brilliant they are. Such an easy design too to recreate. So it's a lot of fun. Now, another thing I wanted to try with these distress paints was actually stamping with the paint. So I have this really cool lined background stamp. Again, I have this linked below in the video description as well. I'm going to actually ink up the stamp with the paint. So I'm using my brayer. This is a Tim Holtz brayer and it's what I've been using throughout all of this video. I'm going to go ahead and smear these paints across my background stamp and I'm going to use a total of three different paints to color this. So I started first with Pick Raspberry and then I did Carved Pumpkin in the middle and finally I'll finish off with Salvage Patina. So these are very similar colors to what I did for all of the smushing with the jelly press, but now we're actually going to stamp with this cling stamp onto our paper instead of using a jelly press to transfer the color. So I'm going to take my white cardstock. Throughout this video, I've been using 120 pound white cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, and I just absolutely love how this creates this really fun background. So what I ended up doing for this card was I just cut a simple frame with the new A2 Marquee die set from Simon Says Stamp. I added a birthday greeting on top and also paired it with a stamp sentiment. And then those fun little jewels that are surrounding the greeting, those are some fun holographic dewdrops from Lucy's cards. So all of these cards use those backgrounds that I created with the paint and the jelly press and of course then paint and cling stamp and all of them are a lot of fun. They allow you to play around with a medium like distress paints that maybe you wouldn't always use for card making. I know a lot of mixed media artists use distress paints, but distress paints can be used for more than just mixed media. 
cards are such a fun way to be able to incorporate them and using a jelly press I feel like is one of the most fun ways to use distress paint. So I hope you were inspired by today's projects. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to check out my blog for additional details on all the products that were used on each card. Still pictures are available there too if you haven't already checked them out. And don't forget to peruse the new collection from Simon Says Stamp called Happy and Joyful. It's got a lot of really fun products that I think you're going to enjoy using over the spring and summer months. So definitely check that out. I have links below in the video description as well as on my blog for all of those details. I appreciate you all so much for stopping by and watching this video. Thank you so very much. I can't wait to come back and share more with you all. Until I do see you again, I hope you have a fabulous day and thanks so much for watching.